the need to protect our respiratory systems at work has been documented as far back as the first century AD, when Pliny the Elder, a Roman philosopher, made use of animal bladders to filter dust from being inhaled. In the 16th century, Leonardo da Vinci contributed to respirator technology by recommending workers use wet cloths over their mouth and nose to protect against harmful dust. He also designed the first scuba gear, which included a bag-like mask that went over the diver's head. Air was provided from the opening of the tubes to the diver below. In the 17th century, scientists added bellows to the hoses, creating the first supplied air respirators with positive pressure. It was also in this century that the plague facilitated the invention of the undeniably creepy plague masks. These masks had six inch beaks with two small nose holes at the end that were stuffed with dried flowers, strong smelling herbs, or vinegar soaked sponges to prevent exposure to what was known at the time as bad air. It wasn't until 1827 when the Scottish botanist Robert Brown's discoveries about the motion of small particles led to the first particulate respirator. By the 1860s, the first use of charcoal for air purifying was also included. Despite these innovations, it would still take nearly 100 years of trial, error, and countless tragedies, including the chemical warfare seen in the First World War and thousands of mine worker fatalities to get respirators to what we would recognize today, much of which can be contributed to the work of the U.S. Bureau of Mines. Other contributors included Sarah Little Turnbull, who in 1958 added a feminine perspective and designed what would become the N95, based on the shape of a bra cup. In 1972, OSHA was implemented and established the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, or NIOSH, which still approves respirators to this day. It's taken a long time for us to get here, but the lessons of the past are clear. Respirators are absolutely necessary to protect workers in a variety of industries, ranging from mining to diving, construction to healthcare. This course will show you how to use respirators effectively.